In this video, I'm going to take you through the Binance Jersey Cryptocurrency Exchange, and I'll show you how to secure your account, buy, sell, and withdraw from the site. I'm Louise Elizabeth, and welcome to Everybit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you do, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. You may have already heard of the popular trading platform Binance.com, but if you're from the UK or Europe, you may be interested to hear that you can deposit GBP or Euros via bank transfers with Binance Jersey. And you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, their own BNB coin, and the Binance GBP stablecoin. Binance Jersey is built on technology developed by Binance, the world's leading crypto exchange, and one of the fastest success stories in the blockchain history. To get started, you'll first need to register for an account with an email and password, and a referral ID if you have one. And I'd be really grateful if you use mine in the summary below if you can. You'll also be asked to complete some KYC to be able to start trading, which includes providing photographic ID and address details too. Then once you're all set up, the first thing I'd recommend is setting up two-factor authentication to secure your account. And you can do this under your profile in the top right-hand side of the screen and selecting security. And you can enable Google authentication from this screen or SMS authentication. Just be aware that Binance.je is an exchange and you shouldn't keep your funds on here unless you're trading with them as an exchange with lots of assets on there is far more likely to get hacked and also you don't have access to your private keys and therefore less control over your funds. But we'll get to withdrawing to a secure wallet a little later. So let's check out the exchange now. So we'll need to go across to exchange in the top right hand side of the screen here. And we're gonna be focusing on basic. And I'll take you through a quick overview of the screen here now. So in the top left hand side of your screen here, we can see the market that we're in, and this will change depending on the pairs that we see on the right here. So at the moment, we're in Bitcoin with GBP. However, I've now changed that to Ethereum with GBP, and the information has then changed. And it's showing me the last price there, and that's in pounds for Ethereum. Then the 24 hour change, the high, the low, and the 24 hour volume too. And you can also change the effects here from light to dark mode if you wish. Then over on the left hand side here in red, you'll see all the sell orders on here. And that will show you the price, the amount that's been purchased in Ethereum, and the total GBP price in here as well. And below that in green, you can see all the buy orders with the same information. In the center, we have some charts or graphs which show you buy and sell orders in a candle format. And you can change these for specific periods of time, for example, for an hour, a day, a week, or a month. Then on the right hand side here, we have our pairs, which then reflects what we're going to see on screen here. And then we have our trade history. So at the moment, this shows us all the buy and the sell orders in here. And we have all the market ones that are ongoing at the moment, or you can switch that to yours if you have any trading history in here, which I don't currently. Then at the bottom of the screen here, we have how we place our actual trades or orders, and that's gonna be the next stage that we move on to. But before we can trade, we'll need to deposit some funds into our account to trade with. So the way that we deposit funds is if we scroll up to the top and go to funds and deposits, so currently they only accept deposits from the following countries or regions, which is Jersey, United Kingdom and Gibraltar. So I'm just going to click on to I understand as I'm in the UK. And as you can see, you can deposit fiat such as GBP or euros, and you can also deposit cryptocurrencies too. And at the time of this recording, there's currently no deposit fees, but there is a minimum of a hundred pound deposit. So with the GBP, you'll be provided with the wire transfer information to send your funds to. And you'll need to make sure that you include the reference number that's shown on screen, which is unique to your account and helps to match the two accounts together. 
and I'll show you a little bit later how you can deposit crypto too. So the amount that I'm going to be depositing is £100. So I've just gone away and transferred from my bank across to this account. And I've made sure that I included that reference number. And I've just received a notification stating that that balance has now hit my Binance.Jersey account. So what I'm going to do is to go across my balances. So if I go to Funds and Balances, you'll see £100 appearing within that account. So let's go back to the exchange to start trading. So if I go to Exchange and Basic, and we need to make sure that we have the right market. So today I'm going to be purchasing Ethereum with GBP. So I need to make sure that I have that market. So if I go across to my pairs here, you'll see that I have Ethereum to GBP. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that now and scroll down. And then we're going to start by creating a market order. And I'll show you the other type of order types a little bit later. So with a market order, you'll be buying at the market rate. So the price is already pre-filled in here with the market price. And then you'll simply type in the amount of Ethereum that you'd like to purchase. Now I'm going to be purchasing about £20 today, and that's about 0.1 Ethereum. Or if you prefer, you can use the buttons at the bottom here, which would use either 25, 50, 75, or 100% of your balance. Now just to give you an idea about the fees with Binance Jersey. So as you can see, their trading fees are at 0.1%, which is really low. And once you're happy to go ahead with that order, you can go ahead and buy ETH. Now your order will automatically and instantly fill with a market order. And you'll see that in the completed orders here, and it will also show up in your balances. So now that we have our Ethereum, you'll then want to securely store it somewhere, like an online software wallet, such as Blockchain or Exodus Wallet, or a hardware wallet like a Ledger Nano or Trezor. So let's take a look at withdrawing our Ethereum now. So under Ethereum, if we go to Withdrawal, and as you can see, they have a minimum withdrawal of 0.02 Ethereum, which is about £2 at the moment. And then you'll just need to enter in your Ethereum withdrawal address into this section. So I'm going to go ahead and get that from my blockchain.com wallet. So if I go down to my Ethereum and go to Request, and if I copy my address and go to Use New Address, It'll then ask me to label this and paste in the address. You'll then need to put in the amount that you'd like to withdraw. And as you can see, it'll then show your transaction fees for withdrawing this amount. And it then tells you the amount that you're actually going to receive. And once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and submit. And if you've got Google Authentication set up, you will be asked to enter in that information before you can go ahead and withdraw. And I'm also being asked to confirm that withdrawal via email, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. And then if we scroll down to crypto withdrawal, you'll then see the status of that transaction here. Now that's currently processing at the moment. And it does state here that in some cases, depositing assets can take a few hours. If your deposit has not arrived after a short time, it may be due to a congested blockchain or incomplete transaction. And as you can see, that withdrawal is now completed. So I'll just go over and check on my blockchain wallet. And you can see here that I've now got an active balance under the Ethereum. So now that's all gone through, if you're not a fan of holding onto your crypto for the long run, and you want to sell and exchange this for GBP, I'm going to show you how to do this with something called a limit order. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is deposit my Ethereum into Binance Jersey. So if I go to Funds and Deposits, I'm going to be depositing Ethereum. And then it provides me with an Ethereum address where I need to deposit my funds into. So I'm going to copy that address, head back over to my blockchain wallet. So I'm going to click on to send in my blockchain.com wallet. I'm going to be sending Ethereum. I'm going to paste in the address that I just copied. 
put in the amount and then click on to continue. So I've just received an email stating that, that balance is now available. So I'm just going to go ahead and refresh. And as you can see, that's now appearing in here. So as I said, if you're not a fan of holding onto your crypto for the long run, you can obviously go ahead and trade this and exchange it for GBP. So you can then withdraw it to your bank account. So if we click on to trade and select Ethereum with GBP, our market has then been automatically set for us in the top left hand side here. And if we scroll down, now this time what we're going to do is we're going to place an order with something called a limit order. So a limit order is a more advanced type of order, but it allows you to define the price that you'd like to sell your Ethereum at. So the market price will automatically go into this price section under sell. And you can use the arrows on the right hand side here to increase the amount if you'd like to sell it for more than the current rate. You then put in the amount that you'd like to sell. Or you can select 100%, 75%, 50% or 25%, etc. And then when you're happy, you can click on to sell ETH. Now your order will then appear under the open order section, which you can cancel at any time. And that's really handy in case the market dramatically moves in the wrong direction. Now, whilst we wait for that to go through, I also have full tutorials of all the different types of order types, including the stop limit order too. And I'll pop those in the summary below for you to check out if you want to. But for the purposes of this beginner's guide, I just wanted to really focus on limit and market orders. And again, in terms of this sell order, you'll be paying 0.1% in terms of those trading fees. So once that order is completed and you have an active GBB balance, you can go ahead and withdraw that to your bank account. And to do that, if you scroll back up, in here you can withdraw your GBP. Then you can go ahead and enter in all your bank details and just make sure that you are putting in your bank details correctly as Binance Jersey will not be held responsible for any error. And withdrawals will take up to seven days to process. So that was my beginner's guide to Binance Jersey. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.